Question of loyalty, is it a good thing? If your home is one of those with a combined television and broadband package, you've had the same supplier for quite some time, if you're loyal, you could be overpaying by as much as £700 a year. Many customers also pay for their phone line as part of their bundle, but are being penalised for their loyalty. Let's talk to Consumer Telecoms analyst Dan Howdle, who's with us now. Morning, morning. to you, Dan. Good morning. There's an eye-watering figure in amongst what we just read out there. Uh, worse off up to £700 a year. The irony is it's actually the product. We have a very healthy broadband marketplace in the UK. There are a lot of countries around Europe and the rest of the world where you've only got one or two competing providers. In fact, the United States is very notable for having kind of a duopoly in that respect. But one of the products of that, it was so many companies competing for your customers that they're offering a lot of new customer deals, a lot of enticements to get in. And one of those things is in the shorter term, perhaps over the first 12 months of the contract, um, to actually offer at a what they consider to be a discount price. So a lot of the prices that you see advertised that you entice you into the deal, you know, 20, 25 pounds a month, what seems like very fast broadband, perhaps 35 pounds a month with TV bundled in, isn't the price they really want you to be paying. It's a way of getting new customers in. And of course, they know there are various sticky factors once you're in, especially if you're subscribed to TV. Um, because, you know, you, maybe you've got a set-top box that you've got all your programmes well, recorded onto. this is the thing, onto. it's not as easy. We're often told as consumers, it's your own fault if you don't switch, say, for insurance providers mm -hmm. or, you know, or electricity, utility providers. But in this case, it does, it involves a whole new box, a whole new system, reconnecting your TVs and everything. It seems like a lot more hassle to yeah. do that. And is that what these companies... Because it's not just one company that we're looking at, it's all of them that mm. has been shown that we pay, we're overpaying if we're loyal. Well, I think it's especially the case if you're subscribing to broadband and TV together, because obviously if you're subscribing to TV, chances are maybe you're with uh, Virgin or Sky. Sky will put a, um, a, a satellite dish on the side of your house. You know, that's a sticky factor. The, there's the, the fact that Virgin will need to run a cable into your, into your house. Um, and of course, the, 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 the equipment that they provide you that people can actually become quite attached to. So, go through the basics. I'm watching this this morning, Dan. I've been with my supplier for, let's say, three years. Uh, so, I get on the phone this morning. What do I say? Well, um, it really depends on where you, what situation you're in. I want in. a better deal. You want a better deal. Um, Pay if, less money. If, if That's you're, what I want If to you're do. currently paying for broadband and TV um, and you're with one of the main providers, so for argument's sake, let's say Sky and Virgin, maybe BT, um, you know, you've got to be realistic about what your alternatives are. Um, it used to be that Sky um, particularly, um, you know, was difficult to haggle with when it came to TV because they know, knew that no one really can offer you a, a service that, that competes exactly On, on the whole, is the evidence that if someone phones up with the intention of saying, do you know what, I want the same service, but I want to pay you less. Mm. On the whole, are, are they going to come out of that phone call uh, with a better deal? And it, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Because there's, then there's that bit of you thinking, they should have done this before. Yeah, I mean, um, I would say, you know, on, on the whole, um, it's, it's, you're going to find that if you've been with them for a very long time, then um, you're going to find that you usually will get some kind of traction there. You usually, usually get the result that you want. But if you don't get the result you want, then um, it is a good idea to just le at least make yourself familiar with the kind of competing services that you could be having and, and perhaps open yourself to some of the new customer offers from other providers. Literally be, be able to show you will vote with your feet. That's it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, and they will call your bluff on that, you know. Yes. That, that they sometimes will call your bluff on that. You know, it's, it's sort of an empty threat if you're with Virgin Media and you've got 362 megabits per second broadband. You say, well, I'm going to go elsewhere because nobody else offers that. Dan, it's good to talk to you. Thank you very much. I'd be really interested um, to what people at home think about this, actually. Try it. Let us know, because I, I know lots of people who have tried it. I've tried it and just been told, nah. Oh, really? It yeah. hasn't worked? Yeah. Because, for the same reasons. Various providers. Same reasons, because they know you're stuck and you've got a, one part of that service is better than everyone We want to hear really from someone who's had a fantastic result. Yes, where they've suddenly found they're paying like £100 less <laughs> just from one good. phone call.